Hi guys, welcome to Foresta Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the UV randomizer. Okay, so what is UV randomizer? I'm gonna explain to you very carefully. First, let me draw a plan, let's say 100 meters by 100 meters. Okay. to go and then I'm gonna create a corona legacy material and I have here a texture looks like this so right and link to this field color and assign to this object already yep already okay let me run a test In the scene tab, I'm gonna light them up by a single map and camera highlight compression to 99. The contrast should be 4. And okay, run the test. Yep. The problem will be appear when I zoom out. It means the texture would be smaller. So increase this up to 5 to make the texture smaller as you can see very clear we have a problem the repetition of the seamless texture I call it the tiling issue so how to fix this luckily Corona provides as a tool which is called UV randomizer so link to this one and link to this field color okay inside this panel we have something to take care first check this one and take care of these three numbers okay check this one this can be increased up to let's say 10 10 and this could be 359 so as you can see the problem was solved so why is work because for example I'm gonna create a checker map where is my checker here to explain you clear it now increase to 5 and 5 then I'm gonna create a new Corona UV randomizer link and link to the field slot so first check this one and this should be 10 should be 10 this can be 359 as you can see, the texture was randomly rotating and shift. So this is a very smart way to fix the tiling issue. Again, we fix this. So I'm gonna jump to another example. Okay, here we have a blank file. So let me write a plan. Let's say 30 meters by 30 meters. And no segment for now. For now, no segment later. Not sure. <laughs> okay, to move to the center of the port. Yep. And I'm gonna import an external model from outside. file okay what do we have here we have a horse and a cube which contain the grass material to save time I already prepare a grass material this is not a standard corona material as before 
but I'm gonna talk about this in another video. So for now, just don't care about this. Huh? Yeah. And assign this material to this object. So very cool. Looks good. But as you can see, the grass size looks way too big compared to the size of horse. So to fix this one, we may change in this, but take time because three textures, not good way. So apply a UV map and increase this one up to I think three. For now, looks better, looks more reasonable. However, as you can see, we have a tiling issue. So right here and looks very unnatural. So this is my Corona UV randomizer. And link to base color. Temporarily, I will cut these two layer and focus to this view color only. For now, check randomize each tile and this increase up to 10, 10 and 3, 5, 9. Okay, let's run a test. I'm gonna increase the highlight compress should be 99. Contrast should be 4 as usual. It looks pretty fine and to light it up by a corona sun and by the way a corona sky environment yeah, we're good to go I may okay looks better looks too bright so reduces down to two maybe too much to one only and <laughs> the horse is flying so move it down hmm too heavy let me stop this first no i think not need no. maybe a bit up okay good to go yep i think the crest surface now looks better so keep continue by copy this UV randomizer and link the bum texture to base bum and displacement texture to displays okay However, to improve it, I'm gonna apply a command noise. And increase this Z direction up to 100. We still cannot see anything because this way need a lot of segment. So come back to plan and increase this up to 100. Okay, terrible. And increase the scale up to 5000. Looks really fine, run the test. Yep. It looks better 
but I may increase this one 15 okay something like that let me double check the horse I'm afraid it's flying Now we can see the shadow of horse looks too sharp. So increase the size of sun up to 20 to make it softer. Very nice. Now we can improve the rapid. Okay, hit at 10 and improve it in camera tap. First. I'm gonna use my favorite loot, Polaroid. My precious. Okay, and the contrast should be 10. In this case, looks fine to me. Vignette one. I may increase this a bit. Zero five. Not too much too much keep it like this okay and make it more obviously by enable sharpening maybe five ten five is okay perhaps I'm a bit scared it lack of lining Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you find something useful through this video. Thank you for watching and see you until the next time. Take care.